want to hear something funny? So I sat down to film this video and I did one eye and there was sun. There was a lot of sun. And then I started filming and there was no sun. There's like a tornado happening in Florida or something because the thunder and the lightning and the rain is so intense that I couldn't film. The lighting is absolutely horrid and I know there's going to be a lot of people commenting saying where are your lights? You were talking about lights. And yes, I know I have been talking about lights. I've been saying that I'm going to get lights. But something happened. Long story it has to do with my room. And it's a long story of why I cannot put lights in this room. Especially the lights that I want. They don't fit. I don't know how to explain it. My room is tiny here. And they just don't fit. So I'm not going to be able to have lights till I'm back home. Which would be next month. So... In a month, in a month, I'll be on my lighting game. I'm just so stressed out because so many things are going wrong with videos lately. I updated iMovie and I have no idea how to use the new iMovie. And I already suck at editing to begin with. It is just a hot mess, so I got Final Cut Pro and I'm trying to learn how to use that. My friend is teaching me how to use it. And it's just, that is the reason why there has been a lack in videos this week, like all of this week. And it is because the rain doesn't stop and I am trying to learn a new editing software. So please bear with me, please. So honestly, it has never been this dark in this room ever when I'm filming. Usually when it's this dark, I'm like, forget it, I'm not filming today. But I have missed so many videos this week that I thought maybe a dark one or a shadowy one was better than none. Maybe not. Maybe you guys are like, no, this is way too dark. I'm not even watching this. I don't know. I'm a little stressed out. <laughs> anyway, sorry for the long intro. I wanted to just update you on a couple of things. But today's tutorial is using the IT Cosmetics Naturally Pretty Palette. I wanted to do something that was like really smoky and suitable for like a night out on the town. And you could obviously make this a little bit more dramatic and add false lashes. I didn't. I never do. But I really, really love this look because it is using the more darker shades in the palette. I use the purple and the navy blue. So it's kind of like a wearable way to wear navy blue and purple, I feel, because those colors seem to be a little bit less wearable. And since this palette is full of everyday natural colors, I decided to bump it up a little bit and make it more nighttime appropriate. I thought it looked pretty good. If you want to see how to get this night out smoky eye using this palette, then just keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm going to be using this to prime my eyelids and cover up all those veins. I'm taking this light color right here called Soft Light and I'm just going to be applying this into my crease and just basically using this as my transition shade, just buffing it all over my crease. Then I'm going to take the purple in the palette called Violet and on a flat shader brush I am just going to apply this all over my lid all the way up to the crease. I'm then going to be taking a MAC 217 and just blending out those harsh edges and bringing that color up into my crease a little bit. Next I'm going to take this Urban Decay Eyeliner in the color Binge and I'm going to apply this to my waterline and my tight line as well. Next I'm going to this navy blue shade called Midnight and on my MAC 217 I'm going to start building this color up slowly packing it onto the outer V of my eye and then dragging it into the crease. I'm going to be doing this over and over again until I get the desired shade that I want. It's just a lot of building up and blending so just take your time with this. Then I'm just going to take an angled brush and dip it right into that midnight color and kind of use this as an eyeliner really close to my lash line just to give it a little bit more dimension and make it look a little bit more smoky and deep. Since I'm not going to be using liquid liner, that is what I'm doing. I'm going to take the black in this palette and I'm just going to pack this on the outer V of my eye. Really focusing it on the outer V just to deepen it up a little bit and make it more smoky. I'm just going to pack that on and then start dragging it towards the center of my eye just to blend out the little harsh lines. Next I'm going to dip my fluffy brush into the color Violet and I'm just going to start blending out all the harsh lines and really just 
blowing everything out and kind of diffusing the colors. I really want the purple to stand out in the crease, so I'm just packing this on, doing windshield wiper motions, and just blowing out the look. I'm going to move on to the rest of my face before I finish up my eyes, and I am just going to prime my face using the Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And the foundation I'm using is my L'Oreal True Match in the shade N3 Natural Buff, and I am just using a Makeup Geek brush to apply it. For my concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15 Fair and I'm just going to draw little triangles underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles and to highlight as well. And for more highlighting, I'm just going to run that down the bridge of my nose, in between my eyebrows, a little bit on my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin as well. To blend that out, I am just using my Real Techniques Contour Brush. To set my under eye concealer, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 135 Creamy Natural and I'm also going to be setting all the other places where I added my concealer. Really quickly to finish up my eyes, I'm going to take this matte white shade in the palette and I'm going to use this to highlight underneath my brow bone. And then I'm going to be taking the Transforming Pearl shade and I'm just going to be adding some of that right on top just to give it a little bit more shimmer because this is a very matte look. And then I'm going to add some in my inner tear duct as well. I'm going to take that midnight color and on a pencil brush I'm just going to buff this underneath my lower lash line just to smoke it out. The mascara I'm using here is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme and I'm going to be applying it to my top and bottom lashes. For bronzer, I'm using my NARS Laguna on a Sigma stippling brush, and I'm just going to apply this all over my face, contouring but only a little bit, really just focusing on bronzing up my complexion. For blush, I'm using my L'Oreal True Match in the shade Baby Blossom. It's a very cool toned pink, and it's really light. I love this blush, and I'm just going to be applying it with my IT Cosmetics blush brush and I'm just dabbing it very lightly on my cheeks. I'm using my MAC Soft and Gentle as my highlight. For lipstick, I am using my Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Lychee and it is just a very light mauve-ish pink. And then that completes this makeup look. I'm sorry that I've been off my game but I will be back and better than ever very soon. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.